This is John Adolfi, welcome to the HUD Home Underground, and this is 200 Warham Street in the city of Syracuse, it's on the north side, and I'll give you an idea of what the neighborhood is like. There's Cleveland Ave, we're near Grant Boulevard. What we've got here is a single family home. This is the home that my wife couldn't get into a long time ago. Came out on the market like last year, <clears throat> excuse me, and then for 37,000 it's come down in price, down in price. We're down to $18,954. We're gonna take a look around the house and we're gonna finally get inside this to see what it is that my wife wasn't able to show us months ago. Here we all right, go. I can tell you already right now that the roof is shot. That roof, and if it doesn't leak, that's fine, but that roof is probably around 25 years old. It's gonna be needing to be replaced. Uh, if you close be between now and the winter, I would throw a tarp up there just in case. But what I've found is if the, um, if the ice doesn't get underneath it, that it's the rain, not the snow, that really is the issue when it comes to leakage. That's just from my own experience. Okay, it's a corner lot with a shed and off-street parking. Yay! All right, now we're gonna go get in. Look, it's got boarded windows. Boy, I'll tell you, that means I've got Cyclops with me. We're gonna be able to see this house, no problem. Hmm. Boy, getting in here is a challenge because this floor has heaved up a little bit because of the moisture and interesting. It smells, reeks of of icky pets. Okay, what do we got here? We got all oh, aluminum storms that have been pulled out. Got it. What do we got here? Oh, laminate flooring. I hate laminate flooring. It's okay. Okay, hardwood floors look good. Going to be replacing some windows in here. Fine. Everything looks pretty sound intact. Okay, we've got another room here. Hardwood floors, stinky pets. Okay, so we've got a new roof that's gonna be need to be replaced. So let's figure, let's just figure 5,000 for that, just for the sake of discussion. New windows on most all of them at 250 each installed. One, two, three, four, five, let's say about three to four thousand dollars in windows. And we've got a bathroom that was a bathroom that no longer is a bathroom. Okay, figure about a grand here. Floor covering, kitchen, cabinets, could be cleaned up. Find a, if you can find another door or, yeah, okay. So let's just say if we were to replace that, that's another 2,000. Replace floor covering. Okay, another couple more grand. Are you adding this up? <laughs> I can add it up for you a little later. All right, let's just see it there. There we go. Let's go upstairs. Okay, kind of a typical Cape Cod. Stinks of pets up here too. A little sheetrock. That's nothing. How are we doing? We got a toilet, tub. All right. Well, if you were to pick this up in the teens, I think that would justify. The cost of having to fix this up. Okay, and here paint and carpet and a new door and here a new door, paint and well there's carpet in here. Not not good though. Okay, these two rooms cheap to fix. Out here, cheap to fix. Bathroom, add another 500 bucks onto it. Let's go in the cellar. Okay, as we come downstairs, feels dry down here, which is good. It's got the stone walls. It's got uh, a newer looking furnace. Hot water tank is a little rusty on the bottom. Uh, this looks not bad, but we had some water leaking down here on top of that. Let me just crank it up. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, a new furnace installed is about $1,500, okay? Anybody charge you more than that? If they charge you any more than $2,500, they're really ripping you off, just to let you know. And uh, okay, circuit breakers. And I noticed that there was a little bit of crack going on here, crackage. All right. Um, 
just take, you know, when you come and take a look at it, you know, just pay attention to it. And it goes, starts there and it goes down, down to here. All right. Um, these walls are so tough and so resilient. Uh, <clears throat> that may not be anything that, that needs to concern anyone, but I'm not an expert at foundations. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you my thoughts in just two seconds. Well, you know, overall, I'm impressed and depressed at the same time. They're, you know, the windows you're not going to do yourself and the roof you're not going to do yourself necessarily, the average person out there. So, you know, and then the floor covering, again, you're not going to do yourself. Hardwood floors, you're not going to be doing yourself. So most of this, you're not going to be doing yourself, even if you pay cash for this. So that takes a lot of the work out of it. The rest is sheetrock and uh, paint uh, and installing a couple of bathrooms or at least, you know, some of the missing components to it. So at 18,000 and some change they're asking for it, you know, they did an appraisal for this for as is for $37,000. Apparently there was something going on in their brain to evaluate this. I'm going to give this house at 18,000 a three quarters thumbs up. Okay. After this thing gets done being sold in the teens somewhere, it just may be a full thumbs up after it gets done. I'm John Adolphe. Call me on this house or any other HUD home at 695-6434, area code 315. Grab your phone now. Come on, call me. Um, I'll let Moomoo know you said hi.